everybody, AJ Rizek here. Today, I'm going to take a look at some of my favorite uh, indicators for Ubuntu Unity. Now, uh, most of these indicators will also work with GNOME Shell and other GNOME-based desktops. In GNOME Shell, you will want to install the extension called Top Icons, and it'll allow you to view all these icon or, uh, indicators. Um, but anyway, I'd just like to show you, you know, my favorite ones, the ones I use on a daily basis or whatnot. Um, I'll also show you some others depending on your preferences. Uh, you may find some of them useful for you. Um, anyway, this first one right here, the little red dot that is for my screen recorder, uh, just gives you simple functionality for the um, for the screen recorder. I use simple screen recorder. Um, to me it's the easiest to use um, least hassle screen recorder out there for the uh, Linux desktop. Uh, right next to it <clears throat> is the icon for Drive. I use that for syncing to Google Drive and then the Dropbox icon right there. Um, the little Chrome icon is because I got Google Chrome running in the background and then right there for Google Hangouts. This one that looks like a coffee cup is Caffeine and allows you to toggle your screensaver on and off. So once the screensaver is on and you can see it, you get a little, looks like the steam is coming up. Uh, once that's on, you will not, uh, your computer won't go to sleep. It'll stay active and whatnot. Uh, I find that useful when I'm doing these videos uh, because there's times where I might have a screen open, I might be talking about, you know, what's going on, what, you know, and whatnot. I don't want the screen going to sleep on me while I'm talking. Um, and there's other other reasons you might want to have, uh, you know, keep it, keep the screen saver from kicking in. So that's a pretty useful one right there. This indicator right here that looks like a little sun uh, is called My Weather. And um, if you come down here to, you can see it gives you, you know, it gives you the breakdown. Got my location, temperature pressure, humidity, wind speed, all kinds of stuff, dawn and dust times, that kind of stuff. If you go to preferences, you can go and set all that stuff up. Uh, there's also a widget that you can add, and I'll click it on. I usually don't use the widget, but just so you can see what it looks like. Um, and of course, you can go and set your main location. You can have a secondary location, uh, which weather service you want to use, your units, you know, here in the U.S., we typically look at uh, Fahrenheit, pressure in inches of mercury. We use miles instead of kilometers and so on and so forth. Um, you've got an auto start option so that it will start, you know, on, um, you know, when your computer boots up. And you can select a, either a light or a dark icon. I click OK and that, yeah, there's what the little widget looks like. So, not bad looking, um, but uh, you know I'm usually not much for adding that kind of stuff to my desktop, so I usually keep it. Uh, let me go pull preferences up. I usually don't have the widget active. This one right here that looks like a little fish is called, I believe you pronounce it Diadin, and it's a clipboard manager. And you can look, you can see all the stuff that I've, I've uh, uh, copied recently uh, and is stored in the clipboard. And you can come down here and clear it out. Uh, and then you've also got a preferences here. Uh, you got a few settings you can make. So you can set up some hotkeys and there's some plugins that are available. That is the the clipboard manager is extremely useful. Let's say that you did a copy and paste, and then you do another copy and paste, and now you've got to go and and maybe you want to paste again from that first item that you originally copied. Well, with this clipboard manager, you can go back and do that. Um, it just makes the whole copy paste thing um, uh, a little quicker, especially if you've got to keep going back to various different things that you've already copied once. This one right here, it, it allows you to switch audio and uh, 
uh, both your your input and your output for your audio so like right now um, oh, let me go back to it you can see you got uh, you know your built-in audio your webcam um, your your if you got a headset set up you know you can switch both the input and output real simple um, but uh, you know like for my video work very effective <clears throat> and very useful too. This one right here is CPU frequency scaler and a couple different things that you can do with this. One is that you've got the like I've, I usually keep it in this on-demand mode which means that it, the um, the CPUs are throttled back unless there's a big demand on the CPUs and then they throttle throttle up. You've got a power save mode, which will keep it, you know, throttled back. Uh, conservative is kind of middle of the road kind of thing, and then performance, it keeps them, it keeps those CPUs throttled up all the way, so you can get maximum performance. Um, not only is this good for for power savings, but also you may run into an instance where, yeah, I want my C, all of my CPUs throttled at, you know, whatever your maximum uh, gigahertz is. And of course, the the rest here are, are just our default icons that we see. Let me go and open up the Chrome page here, and this is at Noob's Lab, and it's got they had a a page here. And actually, if you just do a search for um, panel indicators Ubuntu, you will find I think there's a page on Web Update like this, and probably there's one over at uh, at uh, Oh my God Ubuntu. Uh, but this is at Noob's Lab, and they've got <clears throat> some various uh, indicators that that you know might be effective for you. Um, here's a feed indicator for RSS feeds, hacker tray indicator, reminder indicator. Um, and you can see there's a whole bunch of different ones. Synapse indicator. Um, this is basically um, if you've used uh, Go and see if I can enlarge that. Yeah, it really doesn't get all that much bigger. Uh, if you've used uh, Synapse for for searching for applications and whatnot, this is similar to that. It was developed for um, elementary OS, and basically, you know, it kind of works like the Unity Dash as far as finding applications and and, and whatnot. Uh, of course, there's the caffeine indicator which I'm using. Use Tomboy Notes. Here's a one for Tomboy Notes. Uh, crypt folder so you can manage ENCFS uh, folders. Uh, window list. Uh, brightness indicator. This one might be effective if you um, you know kind of on the fly need to uh, adjust your uh, your brightness up and down. Um, especially you know in my case. Once I get get it set after doing my uh, my installation, I probably never touch it again. Some people may, you know, uh, on a regular basis need to adjust it up and down. In that case, I can see where this would be useful. Here's that diadem indicator that I, you know, I, I showed you up here. Now, right here we have this calendar indicator for Google Calendar. Um, but to me, this was one of those where it's kind of like you're you're duplicating, um, you know, something that you've already got. Um, because if you've gone and you know you do your online accounts here, if you've already synced with your Google account, then over here in your uh, your calendar, your Google calendar is already you know it's already synced to your Google Google Calendar so to me this is kinda you know what's the point that sort of thing now you can go it does allow you to add new calendar events um, but I don't know like I said to me it's kinda duplicating this already so uh, why why go through all that but like I said, you know, 
if it works for you go for it classic menu indicator if you are a menu driven person want an old style uh, you know just simple drop down categorized menu this will give you that um, I am not a calendar person I am very keyboard driven um, you know whether I'm on uh, and that's why I kinda bounce back and forth between unity and uh, the gnome desktop just because I am so keyboard driven that I like the fact that I can hit that window key I can type in what I'm looking for and boom we're done with it um, but if you are very much a menu person then this is a, a viable option to add a, a classic style menu to uh, to Ubuntu uh, copy queue indicator this is another clipboard manager uh, flux GUI indicator uh, sticky notes touchpad um, here is a system monitor it um, you know basically CPU memory usage that sort of thing um, and then this one is actually a little more advanced this multi multi load indicator uh, I've actually used this one in the past so you can show processor memory uh, network swap space used uh, load hard disk you know all kinds of stuff there um, sensors indicator uh, you can see display your PC sensor in information uh, here's that CPU frequency indicator, the one that I've got uh, right there. Uh, P sensors indicator, so you can see CPU temperature, that sort of thing. Uh, and here's the weather indicator I'm using, uh, my weather indicator right there. And here is another weather indicator, not quite as nice looking. Uh, Google task indicator and you know I'm not gonna go through the rest of these but just you know like you see there's a whole bunch of different indicators you can add oh here's that sound switcher that I'm using myself so anyway I'll throw a link up on uh, the uh, video description so that you can find this web page you can look at some of these indicators and you know you it'll have the the instructions uh, for adding it to your system right there you know, sudo add uh, you know whichever repository get your update and then you know, add the uh, add the indicator. Anyway, hope that uh, you found this useful. Be sure to give me a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And down in the comments below, if there is a certain indicator that you use on, whether it's Ubuntu Unity or on uh, on uh, GNOME Panel or you know whatever, uh, let everybody know what's your favorite indicator and why you like it. That sort of thing. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.